Hello students. This is our last video gathering of the school year and I decided to end the school year in the same place that I began my first gathering. You'll recognize this spot in the foyer of the school. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do and I, I noticed when I was walking in that our bricks have been laid in between the bridge and our driveway and so I wanted to give you a look at that. So I'm going to walk outside and show you what that looks like. Okay students, I'm walking outside here and I'm looking at the bridge and you'll notice that our bricks have been placed as a connection from the bridge to our school. There are many people who purchase bricks and their names or sometimes there are scripture on these bri bricks, there are flames, there are hearts. The nice thing about this is that every time we walk over this bridge we remember that there's so many people in our community who have made it possible for EMES to exist. That's been true from, the day, from day one when we started our school. That's the beauty of something like this as we get to see every day names of people that came before us. Some of your family names might be here too. So as I'm backing away here from the bridge, you get a good picture of those bricks and the foundation that they lay for us. And the bridge is waiting for your return. Okay, I'm back. So uh, hopefully you'll get to see those bricks in person soon. I thought I'd show you where my crochet project ended up. Hopefully you're not getting tired of hearing about crochet. My family thinks I'm a little obsessed with it. But anyway, I ended up um, finishing off this afghan uh, with a brown edging. So I still have the design that I showed you earlier. It's not quite as big as what I had first intended it to be. Um, I s ran out of scraps and I s decided that to kind of rethink what this would be and I decided it's going to be like a little lap rug. So you lay it across your lap when you're cool in the evening or um, it can lay across the back of a couch or a chair. Um, I did have to change some of the colors along the way. You'll notice that um, some of the colors here look a little bit different than when they get up here. It's kind of hard to notice unless you're looking at it in person. But I, I like the way it ended. Um, I kind of had to rethink what I was going to be doing and I like the border around the edge too. So I like the final project. I'll uh, maybe bring it to school sometime so you can see it in person. I thought I'd read a story today uh, about Jesus and the wedding at Cana. And this comes from John, second chapter, 1 to 11. And here's the story. As Jesus was beginning to travel through the countryside, he went to the town of Cana in Galilee to attend a wedding. His mother Mary and his disciples were also there. The guests were enjoying the wedding feast when the servants discovered that the wine had run out. Mary said to Jesus, they have no wine. Jesus answered her in a puzzled way. This is not our concern. My time has not yet come. But Mary was sure that Jesus could help. She said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. There were six large stone water jars standing nearby. Each one could hold 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill those jars with water. The servants filled each jar right up to the very top. Then Jesus said, take some out and give it to the chief steward. So they did, and the steward tasted it, and it was not water anymore, it was wine. The steward didn't know where this wine had come from, but he knew that it was good. He called the bridegroom over to him and said, everyone else serves the best wine first and saves the worst wine for later, but you have kept the best wine until now. Turning the water into wine was a sign of Jesus' glory a sign that he was God's chosen one. 
His disciples saw this and they believed in him. Here's a somebody's drawing of what that might have looked like. So it's an interesting story. It's one of Jesus' miracles, and it shows his power. It shows that he is God, and it made a lot of people believe in him. But it also talks about, to me, transformation from one thing to another. And I think any time something transforms from one thing to another, especially if it ends up being better than we had envisioned, then that's a miracle too. And I won't go as far to say that my crochet lap rug is a miracle, but I will say that I'm really happy, even though it's not, didn't quite turn out the way I had envisioned at first. And sometimes those things can happen and we recognize in our lives that God is here with us, even through those times when we weren't sure how things were gonna turn out. So I have something else for you to see today to maybe think about transformation. I have a puzzle. And I started with this piece of paper. And I ended up, and I have it taped on, on another page, I ended up with this. And all I used was one sheet of paper and scissors. And I will tell you I had three cuts. So you can take a look at this. See what that looks like. And I want you to think about that. See if you could transform this into this. Now I'm not going to show you the answer yet. I'm going to make a separate video for the answer. So you think about that and you try it. And see what you can come up with. All right, we're going to end our time today with a prayer. So let's pray together. Dear God, as we transition to summer, we know you are here. As we enjoy your beauty outdoors, we know you are here. As we spend time with family, you are here. As we read a good book, you're here with us. As we listen to beautiful music, you are here. And for the past several months, during this different time, you have been here with us. May we sense your presence every day. In your name, amen. So now I'm gonna turn things over to Ms. Byler, who has one final song for us to sing together. And you can look for my answer to the puzzle in a separate video. Have a great summer, and I look forward when you and I can walk across that bridge together. Goodbye. Hi, y'all. Uh, we're going to try another song this week. And this one looks a little different because we thought you might need the words. So Ms. Archer's still playing the piano, and I'm singing, and the words will be there for you as well. Um, and hopefully this works well and you can sing wherever you are as you listen um, and watch this or you can just listen if that's what you need. Thanks for joining in. Jesus, help us live in peace. From our blindness set us free, fill us with your healing love, help us live in unity, many times we don't agree, on what's right or
For joining in, may you find times to work at living in peace with the people around you and the people that can't be right next to you right now. Bye.